Hello Gemini and welcome to this little corner of the internet that is Wild Fox Alchemy. If we haven't met before, my name is Maria Guyon. I am an intuitive business success coach and tarot card reader. And I'm here to do your weekly business reading for October the 18th to the 24th. So let's get started and see what this week's got in store for you. Oh, this is so interesting. I just had this in the last reading. Sometimes I think these cards are sticky, you know. This is Elephant Spirit telling you to learn from the past. And I'm going to say to you what I said to Taurus, because Spirit is saying that this needs repeating. We are absolute beggars for remembering negative things. And Spirit is here to remind you today that you don't only need to learn lessons from the past where you've been hurt or wounded or something's gone wrong, but you also need to learn lessons from the past where things have gone right for you. And the difficulty is that our subconscious minds are designed to focus on negative things, which is why when we think back to stuff, we tend to think of the negatives. And that is because subconscious mind is here to keep us safe on the planet, not actually make us happy. So it can be very difficult to remember times when we've succeeded, when things have gone well for us. We have to consciously do that because ne the, the negativity that the subconscious mind is interested in is what keeps us safe and alive. It doesn't want us to repeat anything that could wound us, hurt us, harm us or make us feel bad. OK, so it's not really interested in the times when we felt good because that wasn't a threat to us. Does that make sense? <laughs> So when we need to think about good things, we have to consciously think of them. And so what I said to Taurus was that it's always worth writing a list down of all your accomplishments, of all the, the times when you felt happy, successful, wealthy, when good things have happened. And you don't have to do it all at once. You know, you can just keep adding to it over time. When you recall memories or you see a photograph that reminds you of something that went really well, because then it's easier to go back and look at that document and go, yes, these were the times when things went well for me. And you can learn just as much from those events as you can from things going wrong, because you can look at how you got things to go right, what you did to make whatever it was a success. So that's the message for that. Learn from the past this week, Gemini. Where you need to focus your energy this week is on the chariot. Discipline and determination, making firm decisions, focusing and moving forward. The rhino here in the chariot, it always reminds me of somebody who starts off kind of determined and steady, but he's a little bit slow. But then as he kind of gathers his momentum and gets his head down, and you can see there he is with his head down, he moves forward at a cracking pace and you cannot stop him. You, you wouldn't stop in front of a charging rhino and expect him to stop for you because he won't. He'll just run you straight down. He is determined. He is disciplined. He is moving forward. It's a great card, actually, in relation to business, this one. I like it. This is starting off really well. Strengths and positives are two of shells, union and harmony. This is you creating some sort of partnership. Now, this can be with a client. You could be getting some new clients. It could be somebody that is going to help you in your business. It could be that you hire a new coach. It could be that you've been having some discomfort around your business where your partner is concerned. And something will happen this week that allows things to become clear and you'll start seeing eye to eye. OK, I feel very much really that this is clients coming in, to be honest. I feel like clients are going to understand you. And see eye to eye with you. They're going to make an emotional connection with you. And they're going to want to work with you, Gemini. Okay. Obstacles. We've got the four of acorns, comfort and community. Why is this an obstacle? Because, Gemini, it's about prosperity and achievements. I feel like there's an element of impatience. This card is very much about settling into an environment, being comfortable, enjoying the results of your hard work. But I feel like you feel you're not getting those results fast enough. There's impatience here. But this card is a message to you that you need to appreciate what matters. OK, that you need to appreciate what you have and not what you don't have yet. Does that make sense? And again, I feel like there's something in your past that's there to remind you of that. 
don't get frustrated this week you know there you are you're you're getting your head down you're building your business you've got you know you're you're moving forward with determination you're making good decisions strong decisions there are a lot of people around you that are seeing eye to eye with you but yet you feel like the rewards aren't coming fast enough something in your past has been very similar to this and there's a reminder I remember once listening to a coach who said to me that it can take between three and six months before anything ever happens in a business. And it's so easy. We, we throw a website up and we throw a few social media posts out and we expect to make immediate sales. We expect that our business is just going to fly from day one, from the second we open the doors. And it's never, ever like that. I've run several businesses over the years. I've done all sorts of things from opening a, a, an organic plant nursery to pet sitting to therapy work and in every situation it's never been an overnight success there's always been a few months of struggle before I've got to where I've wanted to be and so if you're wondering where all your success and results are maybe you've just got a little further to go it could be tomorrow it could be next week it could be next year who knows? But keep moving forward. You can't fail unless you give up. Oh, and look at this. Your outcome there, Gemini, is the sun. Vitality and joy. Vitality and joy. Beautiful. This is about achievement. It's about you having success. It's about you feeling free. Having fun with what you're doing. I feel like something's, something's definitely happened with you in the past, Gemini, that is a lesson to you on this. And maybe you've forgotten. Maybe you've forgotten that in the past it was a struggle. Maybe you've forgotten that there was a mistake you made that, you know, led to something happening that you didn't enjoy. And therefore, you know, you need to remember so you don't make that mistake again. Maybe you need to remember that things take time to appreciate what you have to bring joy into your business there's definitely a, a strong feeling of success here of you really moving forward this week gemini but just holding yourself back by these feelings of lack by these feelings of things not really happening as fast as you'd like them to but you need to put those feelings aside and be grateful for everything you've achieved so far take a moment to look now at how far you've already come what have you already achieved where are you at now that maybe six months ago you could only ever dream of? Think about it and focus on that rather than what you don't have or, you know, the, the fact that you don't feel like it's moving fast enough. Because your outcome is the sun here, this vitality and joy. It's a beautiful outcome there. Well, Spirit says that's it. <laughs> There's nothing more to add. There's nothing to clarify. There's nothing more to add. So I'm going to leave it there, Gemini. I hope you enjoyed this quickie. Please do like, subscribe and share it with anybody that you think might find it useful. I love it when people interact with my channel. I appreciate every single like, subscription and comment. And I answer every comment that's made as long as it's not a rude one. <laughs> get a little bit sick of bots oh and i would remind you that there was somebody on my channel who was claiming that they could take payment for a reading i do not offer readings via whatsapp or facebook they are only available in my shop okay they are scammers if you see anybody writing those sorts of comments please do report them they are scammers it was somebody calling themselves admin they are nothing to do with me and i don't want you losing out on any money because of them they are just, they, I don't know who they are, I don't know what you get, whether they just run away with your money or what they do, but it isn't me. So, I will see you next time, Gemini. Have a great week. With love and magic always, this is Maria Guyne signing out. Mm -hmm.